which also brings to, to, to mind another opportunity that's going on right now because of what's happened with the retail market. Landlords are now faced with vacancies or with businesses that are teetering and going out, of, getting ready to go out of business. And so the landlords have just have come to the realization that I'd rather have a tenant in there who's paying, who's deemed an essential business than one who's not paying me. And so what's happened is we've seen rents drop throughout the country and landlords being much more amenable to talk to existing uh, laundry owners whose leases are about to come up for renewal at better rents or someone who wants to build a new laundry in a space that's been vacant recently because of the pandemic. So there's another opportunity, another opportunity to find a good location at a rent that's below where it was 12 or 18 months ago. Yeah. And I, I mean, I can't, you know, overemphasize how big of an opportunity that is because the rent is going to be your biggest expense or, or at least one of them, if not your biggest Correct. expense. And so if you're able to lock in a long-term rent at a low rate right now, man, that's, I mean, that's a huge asset in and huge. of itself to you right there. Yeah, it's huge. And, you know, you, with the finance company, you usually get rid of us in anywhere from five to 10 years, but the landlord you live <laughs> with. So mm -hmm. if you can get a long-term lease at a, at a rent that is really substantially less than it was 12 or, or 24 months ago, it's a very good opportunity. Yeah. And I see, I mean, you tell me what you think, but I see this as being a point that we stick a pin in as laundromat owners going forward, even, you know, post pandemic where we can point back to this and say, Hey, you know, the, the longevity and security that laundromats as a tenant bring to your rental real estate, that, that's a huge negotiating point for us, right. even post pandemic, where we can say, hey, if something else happens, we're going to be open still, we're going to be paying rent while some of these other retail locations are not going to be able to remain open. Yeah, it's a huge plus for our industry. And I remember in 2007, 2008, we saw something similar where landlords prior to that were riding high, pushing tenants around, asking for absurd rents. And when, when it hit the fan in seven and eight, they came to a reality that, hey, you know what? A tenant like this, who's going to, especially if you're building a store and you're investing a lot of money in their property, this is a long-term tenant. This is not a shoe store where the guy wakes up one morning and says, oh, I don't really like the business anymore. And he throws <laughs> you know, his shoes in the truck and he leaves. You can't do that when our business. So, you know, we we like to have the saying that especially when you've paid for all this infrastructure, you've got cement feet in that mm -hmm. business. So you're not getting up one morning and saying, well, I think I'm going to walk away. And landlords know that because they see how much a, a laundry and guy invests between the new equipment <laughs> or remodel or just building a store from scratch. It's an expensive project. Yeah. Yeah. And just for, you know, for the, the new or future investors out there, you know, that's, uh, that's a huge perk of a laundromat for, uh, for a landlord. Um, but it also just emphasizes how important it is to get a solid long-term lease. Right. If you're going to buy your first, any laundromat, but especially your first laundromat, because if you don't get a long-term lease and the landlord changes their mind, well, you can't just throw your equipment in the back of a truck and move down the street very easily. It's going to be very expensive if, if not impossible. So uh, make sure you're getting, you know, good long-term solid lease under your belt. And if you don't know what that is, make sure you got somebody good in your corner, helping you figure that out. 